Hello there Brew Tubers, it's uh, Aussie Brew here and it's Homebrew Thursday and uh, it's uh, not been a bad day today and uh, so I thought I'd uh, just give you a quick update as to what's been going on in the Aussie Brew Brewery. Um, before I do that, I'm nipped to uh, B&M Bargains in the last couple of days and we've got the Thwaites' IPA uh, for £1 a bottle which uh, even Mr Brewbear would say is a, a right bargain as they say so we'll crack this open and have a look at it it's um, <clears throat> the Indus IPA when Daniel Thwaites um, was embarking on his brewery career the Indus would have been voyaging to the East Indies trading Lancashire cotton for exotic Eastern delights our India, India Pale Ale celebrates ales of that period with a refreshing brewing which with Golding's Fuggles, Brambling Cross and Styrian Goldings for fresh flavours that stay crisp and fresh to the finish. 4.6% Pound a bottle, you can't beat it can you ladies and gents? Let's give it a bit of a pour. There we go. Thwaites IPA Refreshing Hoppy Ale. Mm, not too much on the nose compared to some of the beers I brewed myself with lots of hops in. A little bit of aroma, let's have a test. Mm, quite bitter, as you would expect with a, an IPA. Not overly flavoursome, I wouldn't say. Um, so it's got Goldings, Fuggles, Bramley Cross and Styrian. So they've not been over generous, I don't think, or over exuberant on the, the hops that I've got in there. But it's a really nice refreshing pint. Okay. A few Aussie updates. Uh, bottled my um, Cooper's uh, Chinook uh, beer, or pale ale, should I say, uh, a couple of days ago. <clears throat> now, this was brewed with a Cooper's pale ale kit, 500 grams of light DME, done in a mini boil for 14 minutes with 15 grams of Chinook hops, and then the last minute uh, with another 15 grams of Chinook, uh, then one kilogram of brew enhancer tossed into the FE with the kit. Um, <clears throat> about uh, three or four days later I dry hopped with another 22 grams of the Chinook. So I've not overly hopped this one. Um, I believe that Chinook can be quite a strong hop so I've, I've tried to sort of rein myself back on chucking too many hops in. Now that's only been in the bottle a couple of days because um, that's when I bottled it. As you can see, it's settling down reasonably well, first inch. So that will start settling right down to the bottle, down to the bottom, as it carbonates and it goes nice and clear. But it's a nice, <clears throat> a nice uh, colour at the moment. So it's going to be a nice brew. That uh, the brew that I've got that I've replaced that one with that I've bottled <clears throat> is a kit that I purchased online. Someone had very kindly bought me a. Um, a £10 voucher from Amazon so uh, I used it towards one of these Woodford's Admirals Reserve Real Ale kits it's a two can kit and it comes with the sachet of the yeast and also a sachet of Golding's hop powder <coughs> which is maltodextrin which is infused with hop oil apparently so uh, you chuck all that in you brew it up and you uh, bottle it um, the only other Woodford's kits I've done in the past was the Sundew, which was, which was my first ever kit, and uh, I drank that too quickly, so I can't really, really tell you whether that was a good kit or not. But then I did a couple of the Werries, and they were excellent uh, two-can kits from this range. So I'm hoping we get a decent uh, brew out of that, the Woodford's Admiral. Hops. And there's my hop harvest. Not a bad, uh, not a bad effort. I don't know the idea you go. Uh, they're drying out nicely. If I just show you there, let's get a handful of those hops. Now some of them have gone slightly brown on the slightly brown on the uh, on the vine, but I'm assuming there's no problem with that. 
and they're all virtually dried out now. They've got a nice sort of light perfume there and uh, I'll say what I'll need to do, I don't have a, a vacuum packer or anything like that so the likelihood is that I'll just have to put them in a bag and freeze them. I assume you can do that guys, can you? Can you freeze those? And then, uh, or maybe suck the air out and then freeze them or something like that. I'm going to use them in the next few weeks anyway in uh, a Cooper's English Bitter that I'm going to tweak. Uh, I'm going to use my King Keg, the first time I used my King Keg to, um, in anger. I'm going to do a bitter. I'm going to use uh, a Wilco's um, uh, English Nottingham yeast, I think it is. Uh, I'm going to dry hop it with... Um, those hops. So I think that's it. I've rambled on for long enough. Six minutes of your time is um, is more than enough to have taken. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I've uh, bottled my ginger beer. That's gone down. I bottled my um, Cooper's Mexican cerveza. That's gone down in the cellar. So I'm just waiting on this. The um, say the Woodford's kit. It's uh, only took a day to um, kick off the fermentation and it's doing well. I've got it at a constant 22 degrees. It suggests 18 to 20 on the on the box, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that it was a couple of degrees high to make sure the fermentation started successfully and quickly. Um, oh, I sound like I know what I'm talking about there, don't I? Oh dear. Not a chance to be a fine thing. So anyway, that's going to be a good one, hopefully. Thanks to... Um, Brewmaster Ben and to Dave from Cheshire Homebrew who have very kindly reviewed beers that I sent out to them and given me um, very um, very kind remarks so thanks very much there guys um, for taking time out to uh, review those beers uh, very much appreciated <clears throat> um, and that's it really just a last thing to add a couple of guys that were doing regular videos I don't know whether They've um, decided to stop doing them, or they've gone on holiday. But there was um, there was Adam, wasn't there? Uh, Adam, um, who was doing the, the videos, um, and also there was the Peanut Brewery. I've not heard from them for a while. Um, I'm just wondering whether they're still out and about, still brewing, and uh, whether they're going to be doing the videos. Um, so that's it, guys. Hope you have a great week, great weekend, and uh, look forward to watching all your videos. And uh, see you soon. Cheers now. Bye-bye.